Looking at four possible new clues in a series of sex crimes near the University of Central Florida. Police now releasing new photos of the man believed to be connected to the indecent acts. Now we're told they have been trying to identify the suspect since 2015. The latest incident happened early Sunday at a student apartment complex off campus. News 6's Clay Lapard joins us live now from UCF. Clay, police say that's when a woman was approached, the suspect even jumping on her car. Lisa Julie and Ginger, UCF police, along with Seminole County deputies, say the suspect in this case could be connected to two similar incidents. One in just in July of this year, the other back in March of 2015. These surveillance pictures show the man UCF police and Seminole County deputies say is responsible for exposing himself to a woman inside the parking garage at this apartment complex early Sunday morning. Police provided this sketch of the suspect, about five foot five, in his mid-twenties with facial hair and glasses. A woman told police she was followed from this McDonald's on Alafea Trail to a garage at this complex where she was parking to visit her boyfriend a little before 4 a.m. Sunday. She says she saw the suspect walk toward her car. She locked the doors and says the suspect continued to walk to her driver's side door where he exposed himself and did something that made it easy for investigators to collect evidence. Police say the man Sunday could be the same person seen in this July surveillance video. When police say that man followed two women leaving the same McDonald's, then exposed and committed a lewd act in front of them. The DNA collected from that case matched the DNA in another similar incident back in March of 2015, which led detectives to believe this is all the same person. This was the sketch released in 2015 versus the one just released by police. And while the, while the DNA collected in 2015 and the DNA collected in July match each other, they do not match anyone in the criminal database, we're told. If you have any information about who the suspect is, you're asked to call Crime Line. That number is 1-800-423-TIPS. At UCF, Clay Lepard, News 6. Clay, thank you.